This tutorial shows you how to make fused glass cabochons that look like polished slices of coloured agate. Firstly, make some glass stacks. When I get a new bit of glass, I always cut one thin strip off the edge and put it aside for stacks, and eventually I have a decent sized box full of strips. You can cut them all the same width, or cut them randomly, which is what I've done here. Dab some white PVA glue on each layer in your stack and pile them up. Leave them well alone to dry. Then move them to your kiln. If you want a nice high stack, just tack fuse them. I kneaded them a bit flatter because I use my Lepinet mosaic cutter to snap them apart, so I full fuse them to melt them down more. If the stack is too deep, I can't get it in my cutter. If you're lucky enough to have an electric glass cutter, the size of the stack is only limited to what will fuse in your kiln. Otherwise, you can always break the stack up with a hammer. This is what my stacks look like after fusing. They always look a mess at this stage, but they're now ready to cut crossways. I cut the stack across the width, and I try to cut it at an angle so that some strips are wider than others. When you cut slices off the stack, you'll see all sorts of fusing possibilities for them. Arrange them on the kiln shelf so that you see a good variety of stripes and colours showing up. Full fuse. As they melt, they'll create patterns like slices of agate. If you put two near each other, they'll melt and blend into one piece. Once they are fully fused, you can grind them to fit ring or pendant mounts. The thicker ones can be drilled to make beads, and the larger ones make lovely pendants just as they are. They can be used in mosaic and mixed media art, stuck around picture frames, around the rims of terracotta pots, which is very lovely, or cut them up smaller and refire them again in your fusing projects. If you have any cereboard or vermiculite board, try cutting out a shape and filling them with these nuggets and let them melt and make patterns inside it. In the next tutorial, I'll show you some ways of using the cut-up cabochons. If you found this useful, please look in again for the next one, and happy fusing!